Okay, we're going to make an eye blink animation. So I've opened up Photoshop, make sure it's on my account, and I'm going to make a new file. So click on new file. Um, and one of these templates would work fine. Mine's going to be seven and a half or seven by five inches, and that would work out just fine. Um, and I'm going to hit create. So here it is, my blank document. And I'm going to fill up the frame by double clicking on the hand tool. Just zooms me in there. And here's my background layer. I'm not going to start drawing on my background layer. I'm going to add a layer on top of it. And that's where I'm going to do my first drawing. Um, it just simplifies things a little bit. So I'm going to go over and grab my brush tool. And remember to change the size of the brush. You can head up here. Um, there's also the brackets on the keyboard would help you change it. And the hardness level is how fuzzy the edge of the brush is. If you want a crisp edge, you want it at 100%. So I'm going to draw my eye. And I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm going to just kind of draw a quick eye. So here's the start to my eye. And I'm going to make the eyeball. And you don't have to use a perfect circle. You can just draw it in there. At this point, we're not worrying too much about what our eye looks like and adding details and that kind of thing. So we're going to add the next layer. And it does help to name your layers. So I'm going to double click on here. And I'm going to call this open eye. Then I'll know and I can reference that and it'll help me keep track. So I have open eye. I'm going to lower the opacity so that I can still see it when I draw my next one and I can use it to line things up, but it won't be distracting me too much. So I'm going to add one more layer. This layer is going to be the eye that's halfway closed. So I'm going to call it half. There it is. Grab my brush tool and I'm going to draw the eye when it is halfway closed. Draw it real quick. Make my brush a little bit bigger to fill that in. Here's my halfway closed. Next, I'm going to add another layer. Oh, I should, I should make that lower the opacity. So I have to select the layer again. And then I'm going to go and lower my opacity. And then I'm going to go back to the other layer. And this is going to be the closed eye. And I'm going to end up making five total layers, but I'm going to start with these three key frames because it's easiest to go back and fill in the in-betweens a little bit later. So I have my closed eye. I got my brush, change the size of it real quick, and my closed eye. I'm going to look something like this. And I can lower the opacity on this layer to move on to my next one as well. And I'm going to go in and add one that's three quarters of the way closed. So when I made a new layer, it put it up here. I'm going to drag that down because I want it in between here. And I am going to label it that it's three quarter open. I can hide these other ones if I wanted to. If it makes it easier, go ahead and do that. So three quarter open, kind of in between my wide open and my halfway one. There we go. I'll put my brush size. Try to line it up with the other layers and fill it in. Lowering the opacity before I head on to the next layer. And I'm going to do one more layer. And this is going to be a quarter open. I'll rename it here. One quarter. And I'm ready to draw it in. If these other ones are distracting, like I said, you can turn them off. And then on my one quarter, I will draw my eye again. 
a little bit more closed. And we have our five layers now. I could turn back the, the opacity on each of them because when we make our animation, we are going to want the opacity all the way up on them. So clicking through, turning up the opacity, double checking that each of them are at 100. Okay, so it looks kind of crazy right now, but we're going to head up to Window, and we want to go down to Timeline. Window, Timeline. Brings this new window open, and down here, yours might say Create Video Timeline. You want to create a frame animation. Then you do actually have to click that button. So you click it, and we have the start of it right here, and then in this menu area here. When I click on that, I can make frames from layers. So I'll click on there. And here's all my frames making, um, all the layers we're making different frames. The first one is just my blank background. So I'm going to delete that blank background. And back in here, this menu, I can delete just this frame that I have selected. It'll ask me, am I sure about that? Yes, I am. And we can play through the animation right now, and it's going to be pretty quick. And because each of them are showing up for zero seconds at this time, but here we go, super fast. Um, we can change the time that each of them show up for right here. I'll try point two and just see how that looks. You can select these all at once, or you can go through and change them individually. We can play it again, a little bit slower of a blink, and you can adjust things, so we'll stop it. If we want to add the back, the white background on this frame, I can turn the background on as well. On frame two, if I want the background to show up, I can just turn on the visibility in the layer, and I'll do that for all of them. And the visibility is on. We can play through and now we have the white background with it. And that is the basics of it. You could copy these layers and have it look like it's going from open to closed. You could add more in between frames to really make things more smooth. But that is the basics.